Basically, it's got a hole in the top, at the moment covered by sellotape, a hole in the bottom, covered by sellotape. I'm going to peel off both bits of sellotape, put it in there, and set a match to the top. What's going to happen? So it's going to fly. It's going to burn. Uh, can I have a more precise answer than that? <laughs> Yeah, okay. So it starts off completely diffusion flame and it's going to go towards being premixed, do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, in terms of what you'll see, what will you see? Orange. Red. Yeah, okay. Red. The orange turns blue. Orange. Yeah. What you'll actually find for most of this experiment is that you won't be able to see very much if you're at the back. So, sorry. If you, if you want a good view, come down. Yeah. Otherwise, someone from the front can, can sort of confirm that what I'm saying is true. You'll see some colour to begin with. Anyway, let's see if I can do this. <coughs> you can come further to the front if you want. There's a hole in the bottom open. Hole in the top open. And I'm going to light it. So we have classic diffusion flame there. It's it's kind of bluey colour at the bottom, it's a uh, yellowy at the top, we covered that with the candle last week. Uh, it's quite visible, it's pulsing, we'll get to pulsing behaviour in a few weeks time. Oh, and now oh, it's kind of transitioning down to being not so much pulsing, it pulses again and it's a little bit shorter than it was when we started. Why is that? It's more premixed. It's more premixed. Why would well, it's just because pure methane is lighter than air, but when it mixes with oxygen, it becomes closer to being uh, the same weight as air. So, as 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 it mixes more and more, there's less sort of buoyancy effects. It's dri driving the flow upwards, and you've got a little bit of a buoyancy effect because it's, it's being heated here. And presumably, those at the back now can't see this. Um, there's a little flame about a couple of centimeters tall. It's still occasionally sort of orangey at the top, but mostly blue. Uh, it's about so tall at the moment. Flickering every now and again. It's getting ever so slightly smaller. You can bring that closer if you want to. <laughs> We've got someone in Skype here watching. <laughs> Maybe about a centimetre tall now. It's very hard, it's getting very hard to see. Can you up in the front row still see there's a flame there? Yeah. Three rows back, can you see a flame? No. no. <laughs> They'll get to the point where even the guys in the front row can't see if there's a flame there. So, we started off with a big diffusion flame. We're going down, it's looking much more premixed. It's blue, it's still occasionally flickering, uh, kind of orangey colour, but uh, we're now, it kind of, more dome shaped. It's kind of just the shape of the hole now, rather than uh, being a sort of classic elongated candle flame shape. Um, is that it? Is that all that happens in this experiment? Or are you expecting more? Explode. <laughs> <laughs> you think it'll explode? Hands up who thinks it's going to explode? I hope not. I hope not, I don't even know. I mean, it's only a small tin, it's not going to like blow shrapnel everywhere. <laughs> but you know, if that was the calculation we just did, that could go eight times over pressure if, it, if you get a premixed. Except it's never going to reach stoichiometric in there. <laughs> but it does kind of go pop when you get a premixed flame. <laughs> Is that a warm tin? Touch it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so heat, it's, it's heated up. You know, you, can, you don't believe me. Confirm yeah, the glass is warm. It's warm. Good. Is that what you were expecting? Yes. Or did the pop at the end give you a surprise? Yes. Yeah. Shouldn't have been too much of a surprise because we were building up to that. Um, 